I'm Trevor Shaven, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about barrel-aged beers. Uh, barrel-aged beers are an acquired taste, and like we like to say in Nebraska, it's not for everyone. Okay, so what makes barrel-aged beers uh, a different taste and a, a unique taste to acquire than other beers is that it's one of the only beer styles that's intentionally oxidized. So that's kind of the point of the barrel. The barrel is a, it's a, it's not porous to liquid or and they can hold pressure, but to free radical oxygen, it's like no barrier at all. When you oxidize the beer, it goes downhill pretty much immediately, like in the first 12 hours. And you know that if you've ever gotten a keg of beer with an air pump and you've pumped it, if you tried it the next day, it's not as good as it was the first day. If you tried it a week later, you would really, really not like it. Well, that's exactly what we're doing with barrel aging. Barrel aging doesn't seal free radical oxygen away from the beer the way cans and bottles do. Uh, it invites it in. And when it comes in, it immediately starts staling the beer. And if you, if you drink that beer two weeks later, you would be uh, pretty appalled by how bad it was. But the reason we do strong beers in barrels is because they're beers that will age over years. And even though the beer is pretty undrinkable for like the entire first year, after that, it's better than it was when it went in the barrel. And it'll keep getting better for years and years afterwards if it's, if it's been packaged correctly. So now let's talk about uh, the beers we barrel age at Thunderhead Brewing. We have three barrel-aged beers. We use whiskey barrels for our beers. The first beer that we put in the whiskey barrel is an Imperial Stout. It takes on most of the whiskey taste. It goes really good with an Imperial Stout because an Imperial Stout is a really roasty, big beer. Ours is 11.5% and it is aged for a year. After we empty the whiskey barrel, we immediately fill it with an Imperial IPA called I Concede the Point. I Concede the Point is an uh, Imperial IPA, but after it's aged for a year, it tastes more like barley wine. Uh, but barley wine is not traditionally hoppy, and we dry hop it after it comes out of the barrel. So it's, it's got a pretty hoppy characteristic even in the bottle. It's a little bit hidden because the, the maltiness is so big and the aged characteristic, the dark fruit characteristics, are so big that they kind of hide the hops, but if you're looking for it, it's there. The last beer we do, after we empty the uh, Imperial IPA out of the barrel, we immediately fill it up with braggot. It's a spiced braggot. A braggot is a type of mead. Uh, this is the Tiny Tim that we serve at Christmas time, except aged in a barrel. So it tastes completely different, but uh, if you knew that's what it was, you would be able to identify it. Arguably, the only thing more difficult than acquiring a taste for Imperial Stout is getting one of these bottles open. So I'm going to show you how to do that. These bottles, uh, these bottles are waxed, corked, and capped. The wax uh, protects the top of the bottle from uh, nicks and bumps over the course of its life, which is presumably years. The wax also gives a little bit of UV protection. It also masks the fill level a little bit, uh, kind of the way a neck label does on six packs, because people don't like seeing fill levels that are uneven in a six pack. Under the wax, there's a cap and a cork. And the cap is just there to hold the cork in. And the cork is there to keep the beer away from the cap. So these beers are made to age for many years. And if you didn't have the cork in there, eventually the protective lining on the cap would wear, would degrade, and the beer could come in contact with the metal, which would make the beer not good. Um, and then the cap has to be there because the beer is carbonated. And if the cap wasn't there, it could push the corks out. So to get into one of these things, First, you got to take the wax off. And the easiest way to do it is just cut a circle underneath the cap through the wax and then just top the wax off. Try to avoid cutting off your face or your hands. Once you get the wax off, then you just got a beer cap and any old way you take off a beer cap normally works. So. And the, 
Then you're down to the cork, which it just looks like a normal wine cork, but it is not a normal wine cork. It goes down deep into the bottle, down into the neck where it starts getting wider. So it, uh, it's wedged in there pretty tight and that's because the beer is carbonated and we don't want it just pushing the corks out. So in order to get this type of cork out, you need a pretty serious corkscrew. This kind works really good. Uh, little two wings and it's got a, a deep screw on it. And the best way to use it is you just put it in like any old corkscrew, but instead of going in as far as you think you ought to go, you just keep screwing it until the cork starts to come out. And once the cork moves, which it just did, then it's ready to pull out. You just do this and it will pop right out. After you get it open, you want to decant it. This beer is uh, bottle conditioned, which means it goes into the bottle flat and then it has just enough yeast and sugar in the bottle that it will carbonate it. But once it's done carbonating, the yeast uh, sinks to the bottom of the bottle. And doing that makes it so that the beer will taste better over a longer period of time. So it's another thing that allows you to age it a long time. But the downside to it is there's stuff in the bottom. So if you can pour it all out in one pour and leave the sediment in the bottom of the bottle, you will have a very nice beer. And next we'll just pour some in a glass. Once you pour one of these beers, uh, you, you're going to want to swirl it around, get some of the aroma going up into the inside of the glass and get a look at it. And then you're going to smell it. And well, this one's the Imperial Stout. So it's the first one that goes in the whiskey barrel. So it gets most of the whiskey character out of the barrels that we get. So you're going to notice a uh, whiskey character right off the bat. And then it's, it's just very malty and uh, the, the roastiness is very big and robust and, and uh, interesting. And then when you taste it, it is, it's got more flavor than you expect even after smelling it. So. <laughs> All three of our beautiful barrel aged beers are available in the wax corked and capped bottles at both tap room locations, but only your argument is invalid Russian Imperial Stout and I can see the point Imperial IPA are available on draft, but again, at both locations, Omaha and Kearney. If you've got a gun hanging on the wall in scene one, in scene three, you gotta shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.